This is Dr. Carmen Smith, our galactic shaman, and I wanted to come to you today after hearing the news of the mass shooting that took place in Buffalo, where 10 black people um, were gunned down and murdered um, by a white supremacist and put his racist manifesto online. And after seeing the news and knowing that this was in the potentiality of manifesting. I have been aware of the hate that is in the collective, the programming that is active in separating people, the hate around immigration, the hate around people of color, um, including Asians. And I've been aware of this energy in the collective because if you're sensitive and you're aware, then you can feel it and you know that it exists and that it can manifest in violence and aggression and hateful words, etc., and oppression. So when the news broke, I was in hurt. I was uh, deeply saddened with a heavy heart. I was angry that domestic terrorism is allowed to flourish in the United States without much accountability and that it benefits those in power as long as the people are fighting amongst each other and in fear, then they remain in control. So I do see it as a control mechanism to keep people lulled into blame and fear so that other things can take place, mostly keeping people in bondage and not thinking of unity, but further polarization, that that person is this way, that person is the other way, blame, pointing fingers, and then it, of course, it leads to violence, because that's what fear does. So I gave my per myself permission to feel hurt. But I also am very much aware that the way that I stay out of polarization is through my spirituality, through my connection with God. And knowing that the way I, the smaller personality or the smaller human mind views it is that there are good guys, bad guys. The way God views it is that the white supremacist is being programmed to think that the person of color is the bad guy. And as soon as you hurt a person of color, then I'm supposed to think that the white supremacist is the bad guy. And that it's all a game that humans play because God knows that there's only one, that there's only God energy and there are levels of disconnection or not knowing who you are that take place that you are all God beings capable of tremendous love and capable of tremendous manifest manifestation of fear which of course is violence addiction all those things but the love that we have can create a world that is unified and non-polarized. So I choose to see this through the lens of love, which enables me to transcend polarization, to not get into the game that humans play, that I have one channel one mind, and that is the mind of God.
So I allow myself to be hurt, to have compassion for everyone, compassion for everyone. And so this prayer that compassion will be surrounding all of those that are experiencing hatred, compassion, my love can encompass all. My heart is expanding and has expanded to the capacity to hold everyone in that love, in those arms, and to remind everyone that you are love, you are not separate from black people or white people. You are not separate. That is a program. And God says, remember who you are. Remember those things that have been separated by the illusion. So I suggest today we take a deep breath and we remember we are love, not just for those who look the same as us, but recognizing that we are the same in the lens and the seeing and the eyes of God, that we are all from that source. We are all children of the Most High. When I remember this, I am connected to the source, meaning I'm connected to all things. I send peace and love to the world, to myself, which expands into the world through entanglement. I take a deep breath. My love is real. My love is here. My peace is real. My peace is here. I take a deep breath and I am that I am all of that. And so it is. Love you.